What's up guys, it's Jeffrey back with another first aid kit review. Uh, this is the Happy Wonder Outdoor Kit by Be Smart Get Prepared. This is a 134 piece kit. Uh, it's got quite a bit more than our other first aid kit does at about three or four times the cost. I think this was about 20 bucks. The other one was five. Uh, so we're going to dive into this one, see what it's got. I've had this one for maybe a month or so. It's been in my camper. Uh, we've never used it, so everything should be in here. Minus maybe a band-aid or so if my daughter's got into it. Uh, again, let's open it up and see what we've got. So we open it up. It's actually not a bad kit. You've got a small tear-out layer here that you could throw certain stuff in, take it with you, and leave this. You know, if you're going hiking for the day, you grab this, leave this at your base. So, a couple of band-aids in there. Okay, first aid guide. This is quite different than the other one we've seen. Try to get in the picture here. These are all 911. Every number here is 911. Unless you have a family care doctor that you plan on using, it's 911. Let's open it on up. So, first aid guide, it has a lot of information in it. Uh, it's got bleeding. External bleeding, internal burns, thermal burns, chemical, drowning, electric shock, fainting, fractures, compound fractures, skull fractures, frostbite, carbon monoxide poisoning, heat exhaustion, shock, stings, and sunstroke. It even tells you how to do the hammock maneuver here. So that's pretty good stuff. I like to see that. Uh, a lot of information. You know, read this before you go out, but this is definitely something great to have. On the top, it tells you there how to do CPR. Uh, CPR, again, we're doing hands-only CPR. Um, let EMS or fire worry about breathing for them. This is great. It's good stuff. Again, if it's a loved one, I would not recommend doing mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Uh, unless it's a... Unless it's a close family loved one, something like that. I do not recommend mouth to mouth. There's better ways to do it. You can get CPR barriers, but again, hands only CPR is fantastic, even if you do nothing else. And then the back's in Spanish, so that's great. I like to see that. Plenty of information there. Something good. Dive a little deeper into the kit. We have a survival blanket. Again, it doesn't tell us how big this is or anything like that. It may have. I threw the way. I threw away the wrapper. Got a couple of small two by two galls here. Again, bleeding control, and then here's our four by four galls. Several of those, and then an ABD pad, an abdominal pad, uh, five by nine inch. This is tri-folded inside here. All you have to do is open it up, flip it out. This is really good for for large volume bleeds. If we're losing a lot of blood, let's get this on there and get some pressure on it. Into the back of the kit, we've got gloves. We've got some moleskin. There's different sizes here. Uh, this was great for blisters, anything like that. Something great to go on your heels, hands, especially if you're going with kids. If they start getting blisters, you can throw this on there and it'll definitely help them out. Get another popsicle stick. Use that for splinting extremities, you know, small fingers, phalanges, anything like that. Uh, you may could get away using it on a wrist. I doubt it, but something's better than nothing. Okay, so this is Silvex. This is a wound dressing gel. Uh, it says it's great for minor cuts, lacerations, first and second degree burns, sunburn, scare irritants, and abrasions. So, that's some good stuff there. Next up we have alcohol prep pads, got about 10 of those, 12 of those. Uh, great for cleaning up areas, you know, if you could do get a minor cut and abrasion, something like that. Clean it up with this, throw this on it, cover it with a bandage, and you're good to go. So Q-tips here, uh, cotton tip applicators is what they call them. These are going to be great for putting on that ointment. Maybe if it's someone you don't, you don't know, uh, you don't really get in touch their blood or anything like that, that's great. Use these. Oh, cleaning out your ears. If you have something stuck in your eye, that'd be great. 
uh, antiseptic wipes. Ooh, these are like the hand towels. Uh, these are pretty large, I believe. Got about nine of those. And we have six sting relief. You ever been stung? You know that can get very irritating. So this definitely helps with that and alleviates some of that pain and irritation. It's alcohol and lidocaine. Last couple things, we've got a few more popsicle sticks there. Uh, the roll of tape and some safety pins. So let's check out this middle layer, see what's in here, see what we can add. Okay, so we've got some very cheap tweezers. They definitely don't feel great. Definitely can't get much of a grab on my finger there. Uh, but again, if it's a large, if you got a stinger stuck in you from getting stung, uh, anything like that, this is definitely something that will come in handy. Maybe even splinters. First aid and burn cream. Antiseptic pain relief with aloe. This stuff's great. So that's what we have in here. Okay, so insect protection cream, so something like a bug spray. This will keep bugs off of you. It's deep free. Let's pull the next thing out here. Antibiotic ointment. Again, good stuff. Nothing wrong with that. Poison ivy and poison ivy oak and sumac cleanser. So if you're getting poison ivy, you can grab this, get it off of you pretty quick, maybe keep you from getting pretty bad rash. And a couple other some small bandages there. More of that insect protection cream. What would this be? Splinter remover. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's got a little pin there. You can definitely use to dig that out. That's good. I like stuff like that. Another triple antibiotic triple antibiotic ointment. Another lip balm here. Uh, great if you have chaps chapped lips. First aid and burn cream. And then a wide array of bandages here. Butterfly closures, regular band-aids, one by threes, three by three and three quarters. Three by three quarter. That's a one inch by three. There's a five eighths by two and a quarter. So again, small. Not a whole lot of these going on. That's okay. I'd rather see some of this other stuff than I would band aids. You can walk over to the band aid aisle and pick up an extra box of those for a dollar. We want some of this good stuff. Okay guys, I wanted to bring y'all along with me while I put this one back together because I believe I can put it back together in a way that will allow you just to grab this if you have something, you know, kid hits the ground on the bicycle, you've got this with you, uh, something great like that. Or if you're just going hiking up a trail just away from your camper or away from your camping spot, you can grab this little pouch, throw it in your bag, and you've got the basics covered. So, we're going to start off with <clears throat> the triple antibiotic ointment. And the first aid and burn cream. Yeah, because this helps with pain too. So we're going to throw those in there just to begin with. Um, we're going to put our Silvex in there. All of our small galls, our two by twos. And then we're going to go ahead and throw all of our band aids in there and butterfly closures. I believe that would be a good way to start that one. Um, so that will get you back to, the, back to the camp spot, back to the base camp, however you want to call it. But that will be a good way to do that. Now for my bigger gauzes and my abdominal pads, they're going to go here in the front of this. I'm going to add those in there. My survival blanket is going to go here. And then my first aid numbers right on top of that. Alcohol prep pads, antiseptic wipes, sting relief, all that's going to go in this top pouch, or this other side pouch. Insect protection, 
lip balm, poison ivy and poison sumac cleanser, all in here at the top of this stuff. All of our safety pins are connected on one here. So what I'd like to do with that, we're going to go in here. Well, let's try this so we can get to them a little bit easier. Go in here, come across. One, two, three. Back up, and now they're there, not worrying about them falling out. Q tips, we're going to go on this back on this side along with our popsicle sticks. Our gloves and booster pads. I'll slide those in here beside the gauze. Because odds are, if you have something big and you're going to need gloves for it, you're going to be reaching for these gauze as well. The, the splinter remover. I'm going to slide it in right here in front of the first aid kit. Just something maybe keep it flat and held in there. And the tape, we're going to come back to this side. So there you have it guys that's how i would set up my my first aid kit um, and this will be set up oh forgot the tweezers something i like doing putting the tweezers to where you can see them so again that's my first aid kit guys this is the one we're going to be using as a family uh, this will not be my personal first aid kit but this will be our family first aid kit just for having while we're camping a very basic kit not a whole lot to it i like it i'm gonna add some stuff to it i'll bring you all along for that video when i do that as well uh, guys what kind of videos would you like to see we're gonna get into some more camping hunting stuff uh, maybe not so much hunting more fishing due to the time of the year that i'm starting these but we'll see how it goes uh, thank you have a great day and god bless